Hey everyone, welcome to the Odoscope Excel video blog where I offer up my favorite Excel tips, tricks, and hacks. Today I want to talk about conditional formatting. Conditional formatting in Excel lets you automatically format a cell based on rules. One question I see a lot is how do you format one cell based on another cell's value? And that's what I want to cover today. The data I'm working with consists of invoices. For each invoice, I have the account number of the customer, the amount that's due, the date of the invoice, the date that it's due, and the days outstanding, which is the days since the invoice date. My payment terms for all sales are 60 days. This means all of the accounts that are past 60 days outstanding are past due. I need to collect payment on delinquent accounts, and it would be awesome if I could format account numbers in column A based on the day's outstanding number in column E. Let me go to the second tab to show you what this is going to look like. In this sheet, I have a conditional formatting rule that makes account numbers past 60 days outstanding to be red and bolded. Okay, going back to the first tab, the first step is to create your new conditional formatting rule. Make sure you're in the Home tab and go to the Conditional Formatting button. Select New Rule and in the pop-up box, click Use a formula to determine which cells to format. In this box, I'm going to do two things. One, enter the formatting rule logic. And two, tell Excel what formatting I want. Let's do the rule logic first. This is a formula similar to other formulas in Excel. So I always want to begin with an equal sign. Now I want the rule logic to be apply formatting if days outstanding is greater than 60. Days outstanding is in column E, but I'm just going to reference the first cell in column E, E2. That's because this is a formula that will copy down to the other cells, just like any other typical Excel formula. To allow it to copy down, I need to remove the row anchor, that dollar sign before the 2. This is really important. Okay, I've set the rule, now I need to set the formatting. Click Format, and I'm going to select Bold and I'm going to color red these cells. Now click OK and OK. Great, there's one more step and then we're finished. Click on conditional formatting again, but this time go to manage rules. You should see the rule you just made. If you don't, then you probably need to change current selection at the top to this worksheet. We need to change the range in the applies to section of the rule. These are the cells that the formatting rule will apply formatting to. Instead of just one cell, let's select the entire range of the data I care about, which is all of the account numbers in column A. After doing that, click on Apply, and the formatting rule works. Awesome! And that's how you apply formatting on a cell based on another cell's value. Thanks everyone for watching, and as always, I'd love to see your comments and questions on the blog.